and welcome back to the channel and welcome to what is essentially me chatting a load of crap over some gameplay. Um, for today's video, what I've decided to do is actually play Beam NG Drive now. It's a game that I've played for years now. I'm sure most of you are familiar with it, but it's something that I've never done here on the channel before, so I figured I would. So what I've done is I've come back to the game. I'm going to try out a scenario that I've never tried before, which is this altitude speed run. Uh, what it says there is you will take the Sunburst, uh, which is a really fast car, um, obviously based on something like an Evo or a Subaru. Um, you're going to take that down a high speed course in altitude and you'll be given the choice of what route you want to take. If you don't feel like you have enough speed for the big jump, just take a left for the escape route. As always, have fun. So we're going to try and get through this. If you're not familiar with this game though, it is a soft body physics game. It's very easy to damage the vehicle. And like all events within Beam, Beam NG Drive, you do have to restart um, every single time right from the beginning. So it can be quite a challenge, but we'll see how we get on through this anyway. But the main reason I wanted to make this video and certainly in this format is obviously just because of everything that is going on in the world at the moment. And I guess, um, you know, one of these things as someone that makes these sort of videos, it's always really interesting to see just how far reaching these videos are. You think, you know, I sit in a little room and make these and uh, don't think too much about it, send them out. But what's always fascinating is the fact that, oh my God, that's a great start. Um, is the fact that so many people from all around the world actually see these videos and comment and you get comments from the furthest away places you can imagine. So it's, it's quite amazing. So I guess this format's great and I can ask you guys questions and hopefully you'll use the comment section down below to just let me know what it's like in your country, how it's being um, responded to. And it gives you a, a good idea then if you do want to venture down to that comment section of exactly what's going on. Um, from the people that are actually there because obviously what we see from the media might not necessarily be everything that is going on but just kind of what they want you to hear but um, I mean it's a difficult subject to actually cover here on YouTube YouTube have actually put in oh my god oh my god oh yeah that's that's not great Yeah, we'll be restarting there. Um, so yeah, YouTube have put in a really aggressive algorithm at the moment, um, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about. A lot of people are complaining about it. Um, but they've put it in there to stop people talking about the coronavirus um, and just try and um, combat, I guess, people sort of scaremongering, which to a degree makes sense. I think there's a lot of people out there that would just sort of say things for the sake of views, um, which is, you know it's not great in this kind of scenario we need a bit of reassurance more than anything else um so i'm certainly not here to scaremonger and, and the idea is that we just get an idea of exactly what's going on around the world in your different locations now for us here in the uk um it's almost gone through or it feels like it's gone through a transitional period to start with obviously everyone was very concerned about the virus itself which is you know it's understandable i think there's definitely a lot of that still going on I'm going to restart this because I want to have a go at this jump. Um, but yeah, it, you know, the, the virus is still there and it's a very clear and present danger, which is, um, you know, why this is all going on. But at the same time now, it's definitely transitioned more over to most people being concerned about how they're going to survive and live in terms of financial uh, costs and things within their lives. Now, obviously, if, we, if we're getting forced to self-isolate, um, a lot of businesses then can't afford to pay you. So you're left in this scenario of, um, here in the UK, we have what is known as statutory sick. Oh my God, statutory sick pay, um, which is only £95 a week, which certainly isn't going to be enough for most people to survive on. Um, a lot of businesses are just not in a position. If they've got no income, they're not going to be able to pay the however many staff that they have. So it's a real difficult scenario. Now the government here are trying to come back with some responses to this, and they're putting potential breaks in for mortgage repayments and um, also for renters so that they can't, um, oh my God, it's not going well here, is it? Um, again, I'll be restarting. Um, yeah, it's, it, so that renters can't actually be evicted down to the fact that they can't pay their bills when it's not really their fault that they had to self-isolate. Um, and the thing is, it's not getting really any better at the moment. Um, it's just that certain obviously businesses are having to stay open. Schools are now going to be closed or most of them are going to be closed as of today, um, which again is going to put a lot of pressure on parents who would normally work, now can't go to work because they've got to look after their children at home. And again, there's no money coming in. So that is definitely the main concern at the minute. Along with that, obviously, we have everyone panic buying food as well. Um, 
which I can personally understand to a degree. Uh, if you're gonna be sat at home and there's no food around, it does encourage people, come on, come on, come on. It does encourage people to go out and, oh my God, I've overshot that. Wow, that's done some damage. I cannot even steer the, no. That's it, we're still upright. Quick damage report. I've definitely got a problem with that front wheel. <laughs> That's not pushing in the same direction. We'll see if we can get to the end though. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it is widespread panic as such. Although a lot of people aren't actually necessarily taking it that seriously. So it is a bit of a 50-50 split or it seems to be um, anyway over here. But how is it affecting you guys? Obviously over here we're getting a load of news regarding Italy, mainly down to the fact that they were the first to hit and um, they've obviously been hit very, very badly as well. A lot of them are in self-isolation or the majority of the country is. Um, this, you know, UK is definitely heading in that direction, but how long it sort of takes for the government to respond at the moment, the details of everything change on a daily basis. So it's really hard to know exactly what's going to be happening tomorrow. Um, but yeah, how is it affecting you in your country? Are you um, are you in self-isolation at the moment? Are you uh, one of these people that thinks it's great and they're just sitting there playing some extra games and getting some time to do what they want to do? But also, are you one of these people that it is really affecting and it's quite worrying? Obviously, it's, it is a worry. It's a worry for everyone. Um, you know, it's difficult to pick positives from this. I mean, there is a few. You've got lots of people saying that it's given the world, um, certainly from a, a nat natural point of view, quite the break because again over here the roads are much much quieter um, there's not much going on there's videos floating around on YouTube of animals moving into towns and cities where they've normally been so so you know populated and traffic and everything else going on that they wouldn't normally go to and now we're seeing that happening so that is one positive thing I guess to take from it albeit only um, a temporary one because it is no doubt going to get a lot, sorry, I'm just really concentrating here because I've actually just made that jump and the car feels all right. Um, it's gonna take, obviously it's just a temporary one because this will all go back to normal after a while. But the, the effect it's having on small businesses and things is is shocking and what the, uh, the state of everything's gonna be like um, once this does all finish is, is, only time will tell, but it is, it is worrying. Oh my God. Um, uh, let's just try and get to the end here if I can. Surely, what are we on? Checkpoint 9 of 11. It can't be. I need to slow down a bit here. I'm getting carried away. What are we looking at? 124. I don't actually know what the gold time limit is. They really do make everything on here as dangerous as possible. Come on, let's get to the end. There's only one more checkpoint. There it is. There's the end. But yeah, like I say, use that comment section down below to let me know. Um, how it is going on in your country. This is very informal. I'm definitely not anyone that knows much about this subject. I'm just living what I'm living with. Um, but like I said, I didn't want to not talk to you guys about it um, or at least start up a little forum um, down in that comment section because it felt like I was just ignoring it and I definitely am not. For me, like I say, it's business as usual. I am still at work. Um, so the video content's not gonna become sort of more commonplace or anything like that. Um, but certainly, Moving forwards, I am just gonna try and put together some bits and pieces for you guys, because if you are self-isolating and you're bored at home, hopefully at least these videos or all the other videos that are being produced here on YouTube bring some people some entertainment in this quite sort of negative time. But I've been talking so much that I forgot to actually get excited about the fact that I completed that level there. So that scenario is done, one minute 45.27. I have no idea whether that's a good time or not, but I actually got through it, which is a great thing. As always, thanks for coming by the channel today. I really hope you've enjoyed today's content. It is something very different from what I normally do. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I have got lots of videos planned. We've got Colin McRae's um, DLC coming out for Dirt Rally 2 next week. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully a few of you guys are too. I intend to be covering that and um, potentially doing some kind of collaboration with another YouTuber 
on that as well. So we'll have to see how that goes. As I've kind of said throughout this video, please do use that comment section to let everyone know exactly what you're going through in your particular region. I don't want this to be really depressing, um, which I guess it is going to be to a degree. It is one of those subjects, unfortunately. But without you guys commenting down below, um, this video is kind of pointless. I really want to get a, an idea of exactly what it's like around the world. So please use it as a bit of a forum. It will be great to see some of you guys just discussing what you're going through. Keep your eyes peeled for future content. Really do look after yourselves out there and I'll see you all on the next one.